when he first left, he left a jar of Hershey Kisses for my daughter. So every night before she went to bed, she would have like a kiss from daddy. But he found out he was coming home two days early. And so at the time, my daughter, you know, was going, okay, there's five days left, there's four days left. And we didn't tell her that he was coming home early. It was honestly hell. Uh, going in, whenever I joined, I was, I was single, nothing to worry about. So I was like, you know what? If I go, I go. But now, now with the kids and the, the wife and everything, it, it made made everything a lot harder. It wasn't so much they were that I was being forced. I, I, I wanted that opportunity to go and do that, but it made doing that that much more difficult. I saw on Facebook these daddy dolls that a lot of um, other deployed military families had. It was a picture of Caleb in his uniform and um, they just carry it around everywhere. But I'm so thankful that we had FaceTime because that's how the kids connected and that's how our son um, learned his voice. So when he came home, he was able to recognize who he was. Elena, you want to see it? Who's that behind you? Dada. Turn around. Dada. Turn around. Dada. <laughs> it made, honestly, that moment, that point in time, had made every bit of it completely worth it. We have no schedule. <laughs> um, we wake up in the morning, kids come in here, uh, it's breakfast, there's our schedule. The whole rest of the day is completely just winged. We go off the, the seat of our pants at that point. Was that a good surprise, Elena? Oh, baby.